All right, thank you. I want to thank everybody for joining us here for the 2023 Conference USA Championship Game Press Conference. Um, we've got New Mexico State here from the audiences left to right. We have head coach Jerry Kill, wide receiver Trent Hudson, wide receiver Jonathan Brady, and linebacker Keyshawn Elliott. We're going to go ahead and start with a short opening statement from Coach Kill, and then to move to questions in the room. We'll take care of questions in the room first before moving to a couple via Zoom. So on Zoom, if you could please raise your hand, use the raised hand function. We'll get to you at the end of the in-person questions. And in the room, if you could please raise your hand, let us know you have a question. Eric over there, we'll get the mic to you and we'll go ahead and get started. So without further ado, Coach. You guys didn't wait too long to get that up there. <laughs> That's a joke. So everybody relax. Is that... Uh, you know, it's uh, first of all, you know, I congratulate Liberty, uh, their coach, their players. Um, you know, they're a very, very good football team. They deserve to be ranked 20th in the country. Uh, their quarterbacks are leading rusher and, and through it. And that's the second time we played him, and he just doesn't make mistakes. Uh, so, you know, and their offensive football team is very, very good. Uh, and, uh, you know they, you know they did the things they needed to do to win the game, and and uh, we, you know, our kids fought hard. Um, you know, our starting quarterback came in here, didn't practice all week, and played with a shoulder that was messed up, and he gave everything he had. And uh, he's the toughest kid I've been around, and you can quote me on that. And I've coached for 40 years, and what he tried to do, and then our young one that came in, Blaze. He didn't bat an eye. He came in throwing, and to be honest with you, he surprised me a little bit. But uh, uh, he's going to be a good player too. But, uh, you know, uh, our kids played hard. We didn't play well all the time, but they played hard. And uh, I wouldn't want to coach anybody else. And uh, so with that, any questions? Go ahead and open it up to the room for questions. Colin David with KTSM in El Paso. Uh, Coach, just what was it about their offense tonight? I don't think they punted 700 total yards of offense. Just um, what did they do so well to, to hurt you guys tonight? Quarterback. Next question. I mean, what do you want me to say? Quarterback. He's a difference. Next. Coach David Teal with the Times Dispatch in Richmond. What kind of explanation did you get from the officials on the pick in the end zone? Um, you know, not really any. Is that, uh, you know, they felt like, uh, you know, that it was, you know, tied up, you know, and uh, felt the guy uh, from Liberty pulled it away. Uh, so, I mean, you know, that's not a – wasn't a difference in the game or anything like that, but you know it's a good play on both those kids' part, and uh, you know they called it, you know, the way they seen it and replayed and so forth, and so you you live with that. I mean that's you know that's a tough call to make. Coach, we've talked about it all season long how this team, what they've been able to do this year, going to a conference title game, just their first year in the league, and only your second year coaching. What a massive achievement that is. Just how proud are you of the guys for being able to get to this point? Uh, I told them I wouldn't want to coach any other group, you know, than the group that I've got. I mean, we came into this thing and we got eight seniors, and that's it. And the rest of our players are young players. And uh, for what they've done throughout the season is uh, unbelievable. And, uh, you know, their coach and you know I think people we did a lot for our our conference uh, when we beat Auburn and uh, I think that showed a lot of people I think it helped us all when we did that and uh, you know the streak we went on and you know and and uh, the way we played you know I mean it, you know we played uh, let's see this is the 14th game because we opened up early and. Uh, I think that's catching us a little bit physically, but uh, that has nothing to do with, you know, Liberty is a good football team. They beat our tail end twice, 
They didn't beat it once, so they beat us twice, and uh, that tells you what kind of football team they've got. Just another question for you. You guys weren't able to force them to punt at all uh, throughout the game. I know you, you often make mid-game adjustments. Was it just kind of impossible, no matter what you did, to, to force them to punt? I think we tried everything that we could. You know, we we dropped eight. We, I mean, we did everything we could. Blitz. And you can't get there on the kid. He gets it out. Uh, you know, I think we're all frustrated through that series of things. But uh, you know, you know, we just couldn't. We couldn't stop him. And uh, he's got a lot to do with it. I mean, I mean, he can run. He can throw it. I mean, and you know, my hats off to to the kid because uh, you, you look at offense and and he was our leading rusher. And leading thrower, and it pretty much sums it up. And we, and we couldn't stop him. Coach, obviously, I know a disappointing loss for you guys, but you do still have you know another game coming up in the bowl. And just what was your message to the team in the locker room, just kind of with that in mind? I, you know, we we did say you know I talked about life in the locker room and how things go up and down in life and how you handle. You know, defeat when things don't go your way, and uh, I talked about them. You know, you gotta you gotta be a man in this situation, and it determines what hap- happens later on down the road. And uh, I mentioned we had to get another game to go, and uh, you know, but uh, this is a conference championship, and uh, we talk more about it in life than you know talked about the next one. But I mean, you certainly mentioned it, but. Uh, you know, we came to win and it didn't work out. And uh, you got a lot of kids in there that, you know, fought their tail ends off. And uh, you know, it's it's tough to talk to a group when you when you lose, you want it to hurt. I've coached teams that didn't hurt enough because they didn't care enough. And uh, this loss, you know, it uh, it hurt these kids, and uh, I feel bad for them. I want to make sure we get some questions for the student athletes as well. Uh, Coach uh, WSET in Lynchburg, we uh, we saw when your starter went down earlier. You rolled with Blaze, who was your I, mean, I think it was your third stringer. Uh, for those of us that you know aren't familiar with the really majority of your team, talk to us a little bit about why you roll with the Blaze, and just talk to us a little bit about who he is as a player. I know you mentioned you, he didn't bat an eye when you threw him out there. Let's talk a little bit about him. Well, I think the big thing is, is you know, he's got a certainly got a bright future, and uh, you know, you know, Eli had been sick all week too, and didn't practice. And uh, with that being said, you know, we've been using him at you know all kinds of places and all over. Uh, but uh, you know, Blaze has not been a third teamer or whatever, whatever people think. But uh, uh, young man's got a lot of talent, a lot of grit. Uh, and you know, when you get behind like that and you're throwing the ball every time, I mean, he took a he took a beating, and uh, from uh, the D line. Uh, so, um, like I said, his future's bright, and uh, you know, he did a. Uh, let's see here. Uh, he was ten and nineteen for 134 yards, and didn't you know didn't turn it over, and so uh, put in that position. In this type of game, you couldn't ask any more. You Sean, this this obviously was the second time you guys had seen Salter. What did you recall from him back in early September, and how was he different perhaps tonight? Um, I mean, he's definitely gotten better as a player. You know, he's a great leader for that team. He's he's going, and you know, uh, I mean, it didn't anything that we try to do. He hurt us. Um, I mean, you send seven, six, he's going to just throw the ball out quick. And there's point, no point of the blitz. You know, he's going to run the ball, and then he'll step back in the pocket, and he'll throw a great ball. So, I mean, in the day, he hurt us, and he's the reason they're 13-0 and now. Jonathan, obviously, um, multiple times, I think, in the second half, you guys were down two touchdowns, and you were able to fight back and, and get back in the game. Just what did you think of um, what you guys were able to do and just kind of get back in the game and fight back a couple times? Um... Man, this team been fighting the whole year, man. Like, it wasn't nothing new for us. Uh, we've been in that situation before. Um, we trust we trust our brothers and everything. So, 
we just told each other like let's go that was really the what we said in the huddle it's nothing different you know i trust my brothers they trust me at the end of the day we fight uh, Jonathan, obviously Diego went out in the third quarter. I saw him, though, multiple times kind of get up off the sideline and go and talk to Blaze and a few of you guys. Just what did he still manage to bring to the team even though he wasn't playing? Yeah, man, he's a team player, man. And he was just encouraging all of us, encouraging Blaze. You know, that was his first game. so And he did a great job. So he was just telling Blaze, keep going, telling us, keep going. You know, just supporting our brothers. That was the main goal. And then just for all of you, if you all want to answer this, kind of a similar question to what I asked Coach Kill. Obviously, this isn't the result you guys wanted, but still an incredible achievement for this program and arguably the biggest game the team has ever played in. What does it mean to you guys to be a part of this team right now? Uh, I mean, it means a lot to us. You know, we started off the season slow. So uh, for us to come back and be able to play them again, you know, have a second chance. I mean, we preached all, all week. You don't, you don't get second chances in life, and this is very rare for us to do that. You know, I think the biggest thing for us right now is to stick together, keep our heads up, and prepare for the next game. We don't have any more questions in the room. We'll shift to Zoom for, let's do two, Eric. No? All right. Well, thank you all very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Take care. Thank you.